Yeah, by the time I'm gone, I'll be watching you. So I'd love to get, I'd love to stand next to Phil. an amateur. I remember what he looked like as an amateur and just the improvements he's made is just incredible. I think that Hunter is one of those uh, new breed of bodybuilders, next generation of bodybuilders that has the, the large muscle bellies to complete symmetrical physique but a small waist also. Actually I was on the phone with Lee a couple of um, uh, days ago and we were talking about Hunter. Man, that dude got so much thickness, dude. And a good thing about Hunter is he's not tall. So, which means when you're not tall like that, when you're as big as he is, he's gonna take out a lot of tall buckets. He's even bigger than him. He just keeps doing what he's doing. He's got a future Mr. Olympia coming out of in Texas, I'll tell you that. It doesn't take a lot, you know. It just takes a, uh, it takes a uh, mindset, the intensity, and then it does take a certain amount. Obviously, I'm not trying to say you don't need equipment, but. Let's go, Hunter! Yeah! Yeah! You know, so even though he's a big guy, he's not giving away anything, you know, in terms of his symmetry, you know, uh, the uh, the big shoulder to waist differential. It's uh, it's uh, very exciting. Uh, Oh, <laughs>